50 foot section, inch and three quarter hose, donut rolled in the bottom. Next you start off with connecting your first section, an inch and three quarter, to the pre-connect. Leave your mail end at the officer side of the truck. Next, you put your mail end in the next section and leave a loop in the bottom and you start your next flat load. Make sure this connection, if you have to, do it this way so you don't get it tied to knot. This forms the officer side loop that you're going to pull on later. Next section we start with the female end. Hooking to the male end that you left sh just a little long on the bottom of this tray. This male end will be at the driver's side of the truck. Next we start off, you leave about three to four feet hanging out the side of the officer side of the truck, and you start your last flat load. That is the right side loop, it is on the driver's side of the truck. Next we connect the nozzle. Nozzle can lay in the center, just ensure that you have the loop out from underneath so it doesn't get caught in the hose when we deploy it. Nozzle lays there. This load is so easy to deploy, even a rookie can do it. First you grab the nozzle, set it on the driver's side of the truck right under the bumper. You grab the right knot, uh, coupling section and the left coupling section, which is the left and right loops. And then you're just going to walk straight out away from the truck. Notice how easily the hose comes out of the hose bed without getting tangled up. And he's going to pull the hose until it gets tight off the section that's hooked to the pre-connect on the truck. Now 
pan Now out. we're going to demonstrate with the hose just laying on the street, if the operator charges the line, how the line will not get tangled if you deploy it the proper way. Shortening your time to deploy the front bumper load.